Zach here with ECU Master, and today we're unboxing our new GDI driver, so I'll get right to it. This was released this last week. This is our newest product. It works with the EMU Pro 8 or Pro 16. It's our serial number card, GDI driver itself. First thing you'll notice when you pick it up is it's got lovely weight to it. It's got that nice, sturdy CNC aluminum case, uh, pretty anodizing on it. Got mounting holes built in, through holes, so you can bolt it to any flat surface. There's our super seal connectors, and that's the unit itself. Also in the box, we have our connectors and terminals. I'll leave those in the box. Laminated pinout card. It is shot proof because it's laminated. If you spill your beer on it, put a little brake cleaner on it, it's not gonna melt. And that gives us a full rundown of the connections on both connectors for the unit. So you may be asking yourself, what's so different about GDI versus port injection? GDI stands for gasoline direct injection. And the difference is mainly that the injectors are driven at 70 volts instead of battery voltage, which is around 12 to 14 volts. So you have to amplify the voltage, we're measuring and controlling current, and we have to control the pump side. This will control two pumps and eight injectors. All right, let's talk communication. This has one CAN bus network, that is for configuration and communicating with the ECU. Uh, on the input side, we've got eight digital inputs for the injectors. The injectors, we've got eight low side outputs and four high side outputs, that's how we control the injectors. On the pump side, we've got two digital inputs that come from the ECU to this unit, and then we have two high side and two low side outputs to control the pumps. We also have four scent networks, which is really unique. Uh, that's a newer style single wire network used by Ford, by Volkswagen Audi Group. We've seen some throttle bodies and some other sensors that use that network. We have four of those on the input side. And what's unique about that is we can transmit that data over CAN bus, or we can transmit it as an analog voltage output. We have eight analog voltage outputs in this unit, which is very trick. As far as the physical unit itself, we've got a lovely CNC aluminum case, black anodized, AMP Super Seal 1.0 connectors that you'll recognize from the Pro 8 and Pro 16 family with the EMU Pro. This is rated to 125 degrees Celsius, which means that if your application requires you, you can mount this in the engine bay and it'll withstand those temperatures, no problem. A great feature of the EMU Pro 16 is that you have 16 injector outputs. Uh, you've got 16 peak hold injector outputs in the Pro 16, eight in the Pro 8. So with the Pro 16, you still have eight injector outputs left over after using eight to control this unit, meaning you can do eight port injectors and eight direct injectors. That is fantastic for high power applications where you either want to add or retain port injection. Uh, if you want to increase the volume in your fuel system, port injection is easy to upgrade. So we give you control over both port and DI with the EMU Pro family. We'll do a video with a much deeper dive on GDI at a later date. We're skimming the very surface right now, just giving you some basic features on the GDI module, but we are so excited to have this in the EMU Pro family. We can't wait to tell you more about it.